hello and welcome to my channel in this video i will be giving introduction to zoom and microsoft teams their features pricing merits and demerits of both platforms and i will also discuss about which tool is best for you if you are new to this channel please subscribe below to get important information about latest technologies and their uses with that said let's start today's video let's start with the introduction to zoom and microsoft teams First of all, what is Zoom? Zoom is a leader technology in the video communications. It has cloud platform for video, audio conferencing, collaboration, chat, and webinars across all platforms. Zoom highlighted the importance of having easy to access video calling. While you can still share content and send instant messages via Zoom, the one-click video meeting capability of Zoom is most sought out feature. Let's talk about Microsoft Teams. What is Microsoft Teams? Microsoft Teams is a Microsoft's work stream collaboration plus unified communications platform that combines meetings, chats, calls, and file sharing with the Office 365 application stack to bring everyone together in a shared workplace. Now it's time to compare Zoom and Microsoft Teams. Zoom and Microsoft Teams both offering an excellent solution to video conferencing and collaboration. Zoom is a leader in video communications industry, whereas Microsoft Teams is all-in-one Orcus Team collaboration service from Microsoft, which is designed to integrate with the rest of the Microsoft 365 services. At the outset, both tools offer a very similar range of features, but they still have some key differences in their features and pricing. Talking about the features. Microsoft Teams include a robust chat service that allows users to communicate quickly without setting off a conference. Synchronization with Office 365 also makes collaboration easy by allowing file sharing and calendar support. Microsoft's feature set is focused around perfecting internal communication. Whereas Zoom is focused on video and audio conferencing, Zoom makes for easy conferencing even with users that are not the part of company account. Zoom also provides features such as multiple screen sharing to support web-based presentations as well as Zoom web conferences boost high-quality video and audio conferencing. Talking about the pricing, Microsoft Teams and Zoom each offer a free version of the platform with more advanced features offered with the paid plans. The free version of Microsoft Teams included limited chat and collaboration also productivity apps and services, meetings and calls, as well as security. Microsoft Teams is included in Office 365, which has three tiers of pricing. The cheapest option is $5 per month, and it includes a small number of Office services, including Teams and SharePoint. The another one is uh, Office 365 Business Premium Plan that costs $12 per month, and it includes the Microsoft Office Suites for example, Word, Excel, etc. Uh, the other option is Microsoft 365 Business Plan that costs $20 per month and it includes advanced security protections. Zoom's free version include meeting that can host up to 100 participants with a 40-minute limit on group meetings, unlimited one-on-one -on -one meeting, online support as well as video and web conferencing features, group collaboration features and security are also included. With Zoom, you can hold an un unlimited number of meetings. Group meetings with multiple participants are capped at 40 minutes in length and meetings cannot be recorded. For the pro pricing, Zoom's price starts at $15 per month and it allows meetings as long as 24 hours. The business tire, it costs $20 per month and it includes custom branding. Uh, the enterprise tire also costs $20 per month and it required at least 50 hosts. This plan included the unlimited cloud storage. Now let's talk about pros and cons of both platforms. Talking about Microsoft Teams, uh, it is included with Microsoft 365, it has collaboration tools, it is easy to connect to other programs, has privacy and encryption systems, it let 250 people join in virtual meetings. Even we can join for the live streaming. These are the different 
advantages or merits of Microsoft Teams or as talking about Zoom it is compatible with all devices and operating systems it has collaboration tools it can host up to 500 people and it also have webinar options talking about the demerits of Microsoft Teams call-in support cost extra as well as it cost extra for webinar support whereas the demerits of Zoom are uh, there were recent security breaches also pop-ups would be blocked while using it these are the different demerits now let's find out which platform is right for you clearly there is no obvious answer to this question the final choice depends on your organizational needs and requirements in many cases microsoft teams and zoom actually combine to work well together as seen in many large companies and large enterprises microsoft teams is excellent for internal collaboration whereas zoom is often preferred for working externally uh, with customers or maybe guests microsoft teams is a good choice for organizations that use microsoft software microsoft teams easily integrates with microsoft office suite of the products as well as other software such as sharepoint most importantly, Microsoft Teams is great for businesses that can make use of collaboration features such as live chat function. Whereas Zoom is ideal for businesses that want the best quality audio and video conferencing. Additionally, Zoom might be preferable for businesses that conference with people outside the company network frequently as it is simple to set up outside audio video meetings. Zoom may also be a good choice for small businesses that can make best use of its free version. I would like to thank you for watching this video and would love to hear from you in comments. If you find this piece of information useful, please hit subscribe and like the video. I will see you in next video. Until then, keep zooming and keep using Microsoft Teams.